Justin Thomas, uh, it is great to see you. Welcome to the show. Uh, I have to uh, mention something because I was looking at you before the show, yeah. and uh, you have a giant uh, scrape on your face there. Yeah. Can we zoom in? Can we see that in camera three, maybe or four? Yeah, yeah. a little. Yeah. So I thought maybe you just got in a fight or something, you know, as golfers do. And uh, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. you went out there and just scrapped it with somebody, and you you did. Yeah, yeah, no, it was it was an intense battle on the golf course, and uh, no, yeah, it, actually, it was off it the actually, golf course. It actually wasn't that. Um, um, what was the name of the, this this guy that attacked you? This is Dale. Yeah. Um, this is. Yeah, Dale. And this was this was before he attacked me. So record, he gave so. you a kiss first. Yeah. And then he attacked you. Yeah. That brutal beast, Dale. I mean, look at him. He's yeah, a he monster. looks like a tough guy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Who who is Dale to you? Uh, so it's my fiance's maid of honor. We were in Chicago this past weekend, and uh, we stayed at their house and woke up in the morning, and Dale was, was there and greeted us while we were in bed, and there you go. That's just <laughs> yeah. what happened, so. Uh, I want to congratulate you, by the way. Last week, you played in the President's Cup on Team USA, and you guys won. Come yeah. on, that's how you do it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's got to be exciting. That's, gotta, that's a big moment right there. I oh, know yeah. uh, Jordan Spieth, uh, your buddy, uh, you won with, with him. Your best friends? That's what the media that? says. Yeah, yeah the media I guess we're going to yeah. buy into that. Well, yeah. yeah, well, I'll buy into it. Uh, but you guys played together. Are you competitive still, or you go? For well, sure. Now we're teammates. Well, I, I guess in that situation, no, we're teammates. We, it's nice because I've been playing with him for so long and watching his game. I know what he's capable of, and it's really nice to be rooting for him uh, as opposed to <laughs> not rooting against him, but maybe not rooting for him like I do uh, normally. So. As best friends would do. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. friends would do, yeah. So I guess, yes, we are competitive. So yeah, I think that. so, too, yeah. You, uh, you did something that I thought was pretty cool on Instagram. You posted your goals mm -hmm. for the year. Uh, and take a look at these. Why do you post this out to the public? To put more pressure on you? I don't know. It's something I've done. I've always felt like I, I've liked making goals and just, you know, I have some that are more achievable than others and I have some that are more difficult, but I make everybody on my team do it. So my caddy will do it. My dad, who's my coach, will do it. My putting coach will do it. You know, I'll do some stuff with my trainer um, because then, and then I make everybody share it with each other. So yeah. everybody's held accountable. And I think it's, when I go back to it at the end of the year, I'm able to, you know, see what I did, what I didn't do. And, uh, and then if somebody on my team says that they were going to do something in their goals, and they don't do it, well, they're the one that wrote their own goals, so I'm able to get on them a little bit. Oh, hey, so, come on, let's yeah, see. Yeah. yeah. So, How was it having your dad uh, be that close to you with your career? It's great. It's great. We, we have a, uh, an unbelievable relationship. It's, I think we've, we've done a really good job over the past you know, handful of years of, well, one was probably me maturing. I'm, I, I, uh, just maybe my stubbornness got out of the way a little bit, but uh, just every kid does. Exactly. Just separating the father, son and player coach. Um, you know, we know that when we're at the golf course, we're we're there for business. And when we're away from the golf course, you know, he's my dad, and one of my best friends. So I'm very, very lucky to have him. What does your dad do when you do something bad? Is he looking like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like. I mean, I, I remember playing baseball, and you know, and and uh, eventually I felt bad for my dad because I was so bad. Yeah. And all the dads kept giving my dad advice on how to make me better. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Dad, you don't have to come anymore. Like, look, so, look at you now. Look at me, yeah. one of the yeah. best baseball players in the world. <laughs> yeah. I mean, thank you. We're like, uh, we're like twins. Yeah. Uh, but it must be interesting, as, as even as a dad, to go like, well, you got to make your moves. Like sometimes I'm more coach, sometimes I'm more dad, mm -hmm. and like, how much pressure do you put on your son or? You know. He's, I mean, he's great because I, I think my grandpa was pretty hard on him, so he understands uh, that he didn't like that, so he knew not <laughs> yeah, to do it to too me. Too much. Exactly. So I'm very, very lucky, like I said. We have a great relationship, and he's, I would say, the opposite of sometimes he sh I would like him to be harder on me. And, oh. um, you know, because he feels like he doesn't want to interfere, he doesn't want to say something that would mess me up, but... Uh, We've not arguments, but we've had these conversations many times. I'm like, Dad, we're out here. You're my coach. You're not my dad. You're out here to make me better at golf, and that's what you need to do. So I love that. Yeah, yeah I I was recently golfing uh, with uh, Justin Timberlake. The other was, JT. Yeah, the other JT. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess he can go by that. Yeah, the other <laughs> JT. Uh, but you know, serious, serious game. I took yeah. it very seriously. Uh, I was out there with Travis Kelsey mm -hmm. and Patrick Mahomes. And I had a shot out of the bunker in the sand. A lot think, of pressure. I think I saw that. Well, if you missed it, we have it right here. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> I mean, no big deal. No big deal right there. You saw it. 
I know you wanted some tips from me, all that stuff. We'll get to that later, you know. I'll yeah. talk to your dad, we'll figure it yeah. out. But yeah. I think one of my favorite parts about that video is you, you always hear the, when people maybe overreact, not saying that that was overreacting, but <laughs> the whole, that you know, was like, overreacting. like act like you've been there. And it was very clear that you had never been there in that moment. <laughs> But I love it. It was great. That's so it was, funny. It was great. That is so funny. Uh, you're right. I've never been there. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Well, uh, you're, uh, while you've been competing recently, uh, I know that you've been followed by a film crew. They're doing a documentary uh, coming out next year on Netflix. Yeah. Do you get nervous when the camera's always on you, and, or are you just used to it now? I think, and to be perfectly honest, in a situation like this, I'm a little more nervous with a, a film crew because this is not my comfort zone. When I'm on a golf course, that, that's what I do. So I'm very comfortable in that atmosphere. But yeah. I think it's going to be great. I mean, it's, it's going to be on Netflix early 2023. Um, it's, it's just going to give, first off, a lot of people outside of golf to take a look at inside of golfers' lives. But just see more of the day-to-day. -day. I mean, they had moments where they're in the car with me driving to golf course or they're watching me work out or they're having dinner with some guys, whatever it is. And I think it's going to be a, a really cool cool yeah. thing to, for people to see in. You do this thing, uh, it's like your signature move. After you take a shot, you twirl your club. And it's almost like, to me, like a mic drop. And I have a couple clubs here. Okay. I was just wondering if you could just teach me how to do it and just do it on the Tonight Show. This yeah, the yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd love to. Um, <laughs> Where, where, would, where would you like to face? Was like, are we hitting this way or? Yeah, we'll hit to the audience, right? Okay. This is yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we don't need to take the full swing, obviously, no. but it's like, you know, you follow through. Are you finished? I want to yes. make sure I don't hit anything up here. Yep. And then you can kind of, it depends on if you're left or right hand dominant. Mm -hmm. I think, like, Tiger likes to go right because then you can kind of get the little, the, you can get the, the hand in there. That, that was good. That was great. I, that was awesome. Or, you know, you can go left and just, it's just kind of the, the swagger sometimes that golfers ha can attempt to have. I know we don't have a lot, but. No, I could try. So just up, yeah, follow so, through. Yeah, you know, it's just kind of natural. You're following this. through and yeah. then just. And then, and then just spin it. Like that? Now, kind of Let's do it together. Ready? All right. One. Oh, wait, two, two should be here, right? What's that? Oh, so we're like. Yeah. Oh, maybe this. One. Are we back to. No, now we're in a movie. We're in a buddy cop movie. All right. All right, so on the on two, we'll be up here. Okay. I think, right, because we need to be right? So ready? ready? Up on one? Yeah, yep. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Justin Thomas, check him out in the PJ Tour this season. We'll be right back with a performance from Sam Hunt. Stick around, everybody.